Hello, welcome to pcping.com. My name is Arun Nair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer files between PC and iOS devices like iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch through Wi-Fi without launching your iTunes application. Sounds cool? Okay, let's get started. All right, first go to this website called tryfeme.com and uh, download this app a theme for your Windows. So install this uh, theme for Windows on your uh, Windows PC as well as you need to install it on your iOS device. I already have downloaded for my Windows PC and it's on my downloads folder. So I'm going to right click that, run as administrator, click yes, okay, next, next, install. And it is installed. Now, as soon as you install it, you will get this page uh, which says get rid of this page when you launch Theme. So Theme has a pro version, which is $4.99. And uh, if you uh, go for the pro version, you won't get this advertisements on Theme. So uh, I'm just going to go with the free version. So I'm going to close it. And um, when you get this page, which says Theme registration page, just click cancel and that should take care of it. So now uh, I see Theme here. Uh, and it, when I go to peers, I don't see any peers because I have to install it on my iPad. So I'm launching up my iPad right now. I have mirrored my iPad screen to my PC using the Reflector app. So here is my iPad and I have already installed a theme here you can see. Uh, but I haven't configured it. So what I mean by configuration is when after you install theme it'll ask you to enter a name it's already there which is the which is Mustang iPad that's the name of my iPad now I can choose a profile picture by clicking on this Apple icon which shows here and I can select a picture from my library or I can take a photo I'm just going to leave all those for now and I'm just going to click next and here I see my PC now uh, now my iPad is detected in the peers list now, if I want to transfer a file from my PC to my iPad, I just go click on this button here on my PC and click Add Files. And uh, let's say I want to transfer a picture. So I click Pictures and uh, I want to transfer this picture. Well, let's, let me go to Photos and uh, yeah, so I want to transfer these three files. I click Open and then Send Files then select the device. Now, if you have multiple iOS devices, all these devices will be listed here and you can actually check uh, all these checkboxes. So click send file and the file will be sent. All right, so you can see my iPad screen is refreshing. So here it is, the photo has the picture, uh, the transferred picture has come. So if you wanna uh, see that, you can just click on this download button at the download icon you can see the three uh, pictures now uh, I can also go into the photos app which comes with the iPad and uh, I can see what are the files that are transferred today so you can see here the files that are transferred today so these three files all right uh, in the same way I can also transfer music so I go to theme similarly click on transfer add files and let's say music, I go there and I, I can select uh, this song, send files, select it, send files. So the file is getting transferred. All right, so here it is. Uh, I can play it just like that. Um, but the only disadvantage of transferring music through this app is if you go into the music app and if you go uh, to all songs, you will not be able to see that here. Uh, so if you want to have the songs to be in the music app, then you will have to uh, transfer it through iTunes. Uh, iTunes, you don't have any other option. Similarly, I can transfer files from my iPad to my Windows computer. So I go to camera pictures and I select these files and then I click this button, which you see at the bottom and I select the device to which I want to transfer to next. Yeah, so Theme is also an instant messenger software. So it, it has just IM'd me. Now I can see all these pictures. Now if I actually check the properties and see the location, it has actually downloaded to see users, um, you know, to my, my documents. So I can see that uh, the files are here. Now I can change, uh, I should be able to change that default location. So I can just click on the settings and I can change the downloads folder. So currently it is set to see users or slash documents. I can change it to anywhere I want. 
and I can change the PC name as well. So here I given as my PC, I can change the PC name, I can change the picture um, and all those. I hope this video was informative for you. Uh, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.